everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a day with the students, and or the, my grandkids, and because I said to Kyle, if you don't get your work done in by noon, you're going to spend two hours with me doing whatever I want to do. So guess what? He got it done at by, it was like three hours, I think, it, he got it done. <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. He's got a tickle. But he got he started his work at 8.30 and he was done by 11.30. So 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, three hours he got it done. And then they had their little chit-chat with the class. Well, today they both had to do, uh, there's a program that's going to be eight weeks long, and they both had to listen to it at different times. Paige had hers at, I think, at 11, and Kyle's was at 12.30. So, and what it was is they call Kyle's Prevention Works, and they call Paige's Too Good Program. They discussed today was goals. They have to set, they want to know, do you set goals? And if you do, um, can do you picture what it is? Like, they want them to name it, picture it, say it, say you can do it, and then think how to do it, and go for it, and then celebrate. And that was this just today's and it was like 20 minutes long that the lady talked and in the survey questions they asked do you have a goal and do you set a goal and then they had in there also do does alcohol affect your brain and does smoking harm you and they had to put yes or no and it was interesting to see that Kyle knows that cigarettes harm you, but he doesn't think he doesn't know anything about alcohol. So that will be interesting to see how he answers it later, because that one he didn't he didn't know. So he had to write whatever he thought, and so he put a no. It doesn't hurt you hurt you in any way. Well, that he'll change his mind later, I'm sure, when it gets further into the program, because that's what they will cover the last week. But I probably won't have them to even see what's going on in the next few weeks because the school should be going back from virtual. Oh, I heard on the radio some schools are, are going to continue, continue the virtual for a couple of weeks. I didn't hear which schools. but They never say which schools right away. It's so sad. I find out because my daughter tells me whether the kids are home or not home. I didn't hear that Brockton was going to be off for a week. It's not on the news mm -hmm. at all. Even on, on our local news, there's none of this stuff. And you'd think that they would. They focus on one or two towns, but they never come out to our direction. The same thing with the cities. They focus on the city and its surrounding areas, but they never focus on the outer outskirts of what's going on. Well, I just put Mr. Brown to bed. I got another egg from Mr. Brown. Yesterday I got 11 eggs. Today I got 6 eggs. So tomorrow I'll get another big amount. Every other day I get the big number. Tomorrow. Did Mr. Brown go outside well, today? Oh yeah, Mr. Brown went outside. I can tell you that. <laughs> he went outside. He actually got pecked on the head again by a different hen. This was the little black one, the little Asimani that sort of looks like an Asimani, but she's got two white toenails also, so she's not a purebred either. But she came over, and she was with him for quite a while and near me, and she she looked at him and got closer and closer, and first thing you know, she bonked him on the head twice. And then he wanted to come in, so he was done. He says, none of this. I don't want to be bonked. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.